we've all felt it before. Either it be walking into a test room or just when doing your homework. There's a sense of dread before and during both situations. What I've noticed, and most likely what you have noticed, is that maths is hard. And while most school subjects have difficulty, why is it maths that comes to mind when we're talking, like, very hard? And while this is a very broad thing to say and has many different reasons, I've found three reasons why people struggle with maths, and hopefully after watching this, you'll be able to approach a problem from a way which makes sense and relieves that sense of anxiety. The first reason being your mindset towards maths. One of the most common things I hear whenever I'm in maths class is, I don't like it, or it's too hard, when in most cases I would look over and they're actually doing great, if not fantastic. People have an emotional response towards complicated problems, and be, and be too overwhelmed to complete such a task. Even if they do, we also grade ourselves too harshly. This behaviour and a mindset of I can't do it in itself is why you might be struggling on a maths problem. So next time when you come across a complicated maths problem, stay calm and try to, fa and try to see a way around your barrier. I personally have a positive attitude towards maths and that helps me get through a problem. Take a deep breath and think calmly. And you should be able to solve it once your mind is calm and focus on the problem. One thing that can be helpful in maths is to have a goal or something that you like and look forward into studying. An example of such is how I enjoy calculus because of how I feel when I solve it. So I try to do that in my spare time or just think about it when I'm not enjoying what I'm doing. And so when I think about such, I feel more content with myself and achieve a more positive mindset so that I can just focus on the problem and keep my head high. With this, Try to find something that you enjoy about maths. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, just something that you like about maths. Another significant reason about the difficulty of maths comes from other people. By this, I mean if you have the support of friends or teachers, then you're more likely to succeed at maths. The reason why this is, is because humans are creatures of acceptance. We look around everywhere for acceptance. And when we find that, we feel happy. For myself, I have a few teachers that whenever I find something new in maths, no matter if it's original or not, they give me feedback and tell me how I could improve it. This helps me grow in maths by them helping me. We thrive in self-confidence, which is a great thing. Embrace that. Find math friends that you can talk to and nerd out, as the cool kids are saying. For this last point, it seems counterintuitive to the actual thing that I'm writing about, but just hear me out. Maths is just generally hard. In fact, I am quite confident that there is no certain thing that can make you good at maths. Saying that there is a definite way that can make you better at maths is like saying there is a finite number of decimals in pi. As in there might be, but it's currently beyond human comprehension to solve such problem. And that's okay, you don't have to be good at maths. I, frankly, get very frustrated at maths, but then I see the beauty in what I'm doing, I look deeper, and I enjoy it. Maths is a beautiful thing we can never truly understand fully. These things that I lift listed above are strategies to help you enjoy maths. With this knowledge, go out and find you things about maths that you enjoy. Explore basic addition or advanced matrices. At the end of the day, maths is what you love, not something to be hated. And as always, thank you for watching.